Commercial and hobby drone enthusiasts are in Las Vegas right now for InterDrone, the International Drone Conference and Expo. Drones have uh, suffered a few black eyes recently with hobbyists interfering with firefighting operations at several California wildfires this summer. But this conference aims to show off the benefits of the emerging industry. Patrick Walker is live inside the Rio with all the buzz. Patrick. Oh yeah, that's right, Paul and Dave. Buzz is a good word. Come on over here with me. That's because they've erected some of these cages. Here's the buzz. You can hear it for yourself. Showing off the latest and greatest in their models, but there are also dozens of breakout sessions for attendees, including one that discusses the rules of the sky. As drones become more and more popular in the U.S., drone companies are fighting to keep up. Not as heavy as the, the big shark dog. From accessories to controllers to the little choppers themselves, companies are showing off their latest innovations. We've been moving forward and getting drones not only connected to the Internet, but planning their own paths and staying out of no-fly zones. Thermal sensors, LiDAR sensors, multispectral sensors, amongst others, uh, and many different types of each. The FAA has been fighting to keep up, too. To to come up with the resources to, to tackle what is the you know really most significant technological innovation in aviation since the jet engine. Jim Williams was in charge of coming up with the rules of the skies for drones, like staying below 500 feet and within line of sight of the operator before he left the agency in June. You know, the FAA is really throwing resources at it because they get it. You know they get that this is the the new big thing. Williams says commercial drones, not hobbyists, will likely be the focus of the FAA in the near future. For example, the agency is working with one company, Precision Hawk, to develop procedures to safely operate commercial drones out of the pilot's line of sight. The current regulatory uh, proposed rules is that you would need to keep your UAV within your visual line of sight. Our goal in the Pathfinder program is to fly beyond that and test that capability. Whatever the rules end up being, conference attendees say the future looks bright as drone technology and rules continue to evolve. We see the bad stuff uh, reported, but we're, uh, we're here to see the good stuff as well. Back out here live, sometimes we get the sense that we are being watched. I think uh, well, we just had one hovering behind me here. But uh, that is one of the concerns also being addressed at this conference, privacy as well as interruptions with uh, temporary flight restrictions and other concerns. But, of course, the attendees here right now pretty awestruck by the drones flying around here inside the Rio. Reporting live, I'm Patrick Walker, 8 News Now.